And we're going past the main gate because oh, this gate's open. So something's going in, something's coming out. That cat there in the mast step last week is uh, on the trailer. Oh, I bought some new pillows, threw out a lot of old ones yesterday. Oh, I took the gas cylinder in to get filled up, but they tell me it's out of test, so we'll swap that for the barbecue. And we'll put the barbecues one back on the uh, main supply, and that should do us for the season. And then we can get them tested next winter. Well, of course, it's currently raining, so we'll swap those two round uh, another day. It's Wednesday afternoon. Oh, there's a cover on the big katana over there. Uh, boat in the corner on the trolley. Just us back up on this one. There's a boat in the corner here. Started getting the, the non-perishables for the boat, so we'll pop them in and uh, have lunch, even though it's heading towards mid-afternoon. So this is the previous cubic metre of booze, and. Uh, the bunk in the forward cabin on the port side. Well, I've stacked everything in this end because the vacuum cleaner needs to go in there. Well, this is a locker at the forward end of the same bunk. Uh, I've never looked in here. Let's have a look. Forward, there's the bulkhead up to the forward locker. A big knee. And looking towards the stern of the boat, it all looks absolutely fine. So I was just checking in this uh, locker here, which is absolutely fine. I'm to put the lid back and there's something in the way. I think I finally found the tube for the vacuum cleaner. Well, I knew it had to be somewhere, I just wasn't quite sure where. Oh, I've put the non-perishables into the store cupboard. Right, ready for habitation. Oh, I'll put the gas bottle back onto the house system. So both are about half full, so we should be fine for summer. This plastic box here holds a solenoid for the house supply of the gas. So here's the switch for the solenoid. Yep. Yeah. Well, it was certainly a, uh, a thing of beauty for its packing, but of course, trying to get all the bits out in the order you need them is uh, pretty tricky. Well, it does work. We've had it going. Hopefully it will last a wee while. It's Saturday, uh, it should be a very nice day, and as there's not much to do on the boat, I think we'll go on a road trip. It's uh, going to be low tide late afternoon over on the west coast, so I think we'll go uh, to Poto Point and we'll take Salty Odd Sea Dog.
have some recovery gear loaded. town this yep. because most of it is down there. That's right the centre of town's off to the left hand side which is good you mean you don't have to drive through the middle of town. Muddy water. Mm, back in the early days of course all the transport was by, by, boat. Know, by boat up here. You know, the old scows. Big city. Yeah, it's a big city on Bailey's Beach. Yawn since I've been over here. So we're about half tied. calmer day today and much clearer so we can see our ring of bluff way up there that Damron and I went to last time but we're going the opposite way so we're going this way uh, down to Poto Point Always clean water. Yeah, I'm not sure I've seen back there of a bar, so. persons I imagine. Yeah, I think so. We've lost the stick cliffs in behind, we're starting to flat now. Yes. A little further away. Up. Uh, we're getting into the uh, flatter south end of yes. Moto Point with uh, lots of shallow sand in behind. And so we've got to be a bit careful when you further down here. There's some soft bits. Like that? Uh, yeah, but even worse than that. <laughs> Yeah. Is the vehicle that was following you well back? Well back? Oh, it's dropped back a little bit. I think yeah. it probably went over the 
the same things we did. We're starting to get to the end of Pojo Point, which is called North Head. Uh, I dare say the sand conditions will get more tricky. sand dunes to play on oh, we must do our water splash
way through here. Covered by sand. Yeah. You see, if we're around the bottom there, it's going to be really soft just down yes. there. Yeah. Kingfisher. Kingfisher. Well, we finally got some uh, straight road. Well, we're back to Dargaville. And then heading back to Whangarei. is to take uh, all the rest of this home. Oh, we seem to be empty apart from the grey water and the anti-fouling to go on the bottom of the keels. That's all in the truck. Oh that bag's going in the skip. Now I need to fill the tank up so which tank is on 
Yeah, it looks like the Ford one. Oh, well, this one should be almost empty now. Yep. 